looks like a storm. So we were trying to get our freezer onto our boat before. Yeah, this is, this looking serious. Ooh. Oh, it's gotten a lot closer. Yeah. I don't know if we got time to get it on the boat, to be honest. You need to hurry. When we finally made the decision to purchase our sailboat, the dreams became the reality. We knew there were going to be a lot of things that we hadn't considered. We've been living on board for about six months, and I can tell you, if you plan to do this with your family, you'll need a boat with a really big freezer where you'll be doing the same refit we are today. So this is a hurdle I guess we didn't really think about when we were buying the boat. This boat has a big refrigerator. It really had no built-in freezer. There's a little tiny thing inside the fridge that they call a freezer. It, it holds nothing and it doesn't freeze anything solid. So this was the freezer on the boat. It is much too small for a family of four. It will be a great like backup freezer. Honestly, a bigger one of this would probably be better as a backup secondary freezer, but we're trying to put a better freezer space that's more accessible for everybody and will hold the things that we need day to day. <laughs> I look really funny because- Dirt. I have dirt. I'm down in the stairwell. <laughs> This is the chart table, the navigation table, the nav station, any of those things. And I don't really think that we need a nav station. Is that stupid? Well, I would say this is non-functional. This is pretty shallow. The only place to store anything is in here. It's actually not even big enough, I don't think, inside here to actually hold nautical charts no it's more Maybe like a dump station would. we keep some radios in there yeah. hand, like the handhelds and we keep some papers documents coast guard documents things like that that if we get boarded we'd have to present so we thought maybe it'd be better use as a cabinet and then we thought well you know we have this freezer sitting here that doesn't work very good we need a freezer so we kind of thought maybe we just go crazy nutty stupid and rip it all out and then put in a bigger freezer. And then maybe build on top of the freezer to make like a different surface that could serve as kind of like a pseudo nav station. I don't know. Slash this is, counter top yeah, extension opposite the gallery. Maybe a compartment in there to store maybe documents. Maybe something. It's kind of all on the fly. We don't really know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make something. I mean, something. really, truly, we really don't. We don't know we what we're gonna do. We have zero plan but other than this is going We know that away. this is gonna come out. And um, this uh, angle freezer that we have underneath that came with a boat has been working like a champ, but that is our only freezer. It's, it's quite it. small. Fairly We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Because it's, it's really good. Maybe it could be like a meat freezer or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But it, um, a lot of people keep their little portable freezer outside in the cockpit, so we might have to do that. But anyway, anyway, today we're going to go nuts and we're going to rip this out. But here, look here. That side comes up, but this doesn't. And we can't find any screws. I don't. All right, so we had to have a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. What can I do? Towards the wall as you lift. You are in danger. Am I? Yes. If this suddenly gives way, you're the one that's going to take the clobber. I'm going to let you. Well, you almost got clobbered just now. Yeah. All right, I'm sweating. Are you? Yep. Cool Maybe a little caulking or something? It I don't feels really know. like hard as a rock. And it's hollow. So this, this is a panel. You can see where it's glued in there. With something. So we're gonna keep this. Makes sense to keep this because we're big fans of Star Trek. And I want to paint the emblem on it.
looks like a storm. So we were trying to get our freezer onto our boat before the storm comes and it looks like it's coming so let's hurry. To give you a sense of urgency. Ooh. Oh, it's gotten a lot closer. Yeah. Are we gonna have to shove it back in the truck and run for our lives? Well, I don't know yet. Oh, wow. Look at the curve on it. Yeah. That looks weird. I don't know if we got time to get it on the road, to be honest. We need to hurry. Less yakking, more unpacking. Is it recording yet? Yes, it is. Oh, here's the wind. Okay, you go, and I'll get this. Here, you want that? I'm almost back to the boat, and the wind has picked up, and now I got raindrops hitting me. Oh, this is stupid. Hold it so the wind doesn't take it. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna hold it right here to get on. Oh! Oh my! It started raining. Yeah. All of a sudden, the wind picked up and it started raining. That is humongous. Carter has it. Oh. Oh hi. That is humongous, guys. That's how is that going to fit? Than I thought it was. That's. Did you measure? It wasn't this tall. I thought you measured a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is bigger than I thought it was, by a good bit. Yeah, guys, that's not good. That is humongous. So my problem here is form. Function would probably be fine but it's just so big it's huge and everything that we're doing we put an enormous amount of thought me i put a lot of thought in becky does too but i really get into my head and i'm and it's to a fault and it slows us down on a lot of these projects because i overthink it and for us to get something wrong like this is actually a little bit more unusual this thing is it's just huge and i want to if we use it and we use it here, which is still a possibility. I want to be able to frame it in, finish it in, make it look like when you walk onto this boat, this was always here and it was intended this way by the design. And at the moment, I'm having a real hard time understanding how that would, how I could make that happen. That's, I don't know how I can make that happen. It's like giant. It's like a giant Goliath freezer, even though it's the smallest of all the freezers that we looked at and it's a residential freezer too i know that some of you are going to jump on me and say well it's not a marine fridge i know that um but you know the cost and whatnot if it goes out it's a common size and we can replace it it's it's fine so what do you think about finishing this project by basically finishing this area to look finished finished and then this just sits here and we use this because we kind of need freezer space right now. And then later we figure out, is it gonna work downstairs? Or if it doesn't, then we need to rethink it. I don't know what we'll get. I don't know what we'll do. It'll have to be probably smaller than this, which isn't ideal because it's just, this is gonna have a lot of space in it for us. Yeah. I'm still hopeful that some lightning strike of um, idea strikes me here and then yeah. and then I'm like aha this is how we do it it's been a couple of weeks since we brought it in and it just for some reason it looked really awkward with the door pointed this way and then we tried uh, with the door pointed um, towards the stairs and that seemed to be a little bit better and as we've let it sit here for a couple of weeks this feels pretty good actually so I think we're gonna keep it this way and we're gonna go to work on installing um, some cabinetry around it to see if we can make use of all of this space rather than a big giant freezer just sitting here. So here's the plan. This piece of teak that I bought and off camera I went ahead and cut it to that contour up there. So we'll have this shelf right here and then I've got another piece of teak that's going to sit up here on this one.
So, Gorilla Glue. Remember the lady who got it in her hair? Well, that was spray, spray Gorilla Glue. I'm not gonna put it that in my hair. That lady got it in, in her hair. hair. <laughs> On your finger, what if it doesn't come off? I mean, I don't know why that, she would have had to have gone into her garage to get it or something. We uh, don't know what happened. Maybe it was a joke, maybe somebody put it in her cupboard. She got her few minutes of fame and probably some permanent scarring. Be terrible. This is where the freezer sits, and I've got it tipped out a little bit crooked. Um, the compressor sits right in this kind of nook area, and you can see I, I have installed a fan, a computer fan. Um, it's gotten kind of warm. It hasn't really been a problem yet. We really think that this is gonna be important, especially with hot days. So we bought one of these digital switches and it's in Celsius. I couldn't find any that weren't in Celsius. But what we've done is I've programmed this to come on at 90 degrees and then it's gonna go off at 70 degrees, um, something like that. So the fan is not running at the moment and that's because it's not all that warm. If I hold on to this thermometer, as soon as we hit 32 degrees, then the fan comes on. And there is a lot of air blowing out of this. And as that temperature starts to drop back down, that fan's gonna automatically turn off. By the way, guys, we have updated our Amazon wish list. There's a lot of things that we need for this project and it's all expensive. So not everything on the wish list is expensive, but if you're able to help out, we really, really appreciate it. If you're looking for other ways to contribute, we have our Patreon page with the lowest level starting at just three bucks, which is really nice. And if Amazon or Patreon aren't your thing, that's no big deal. Just give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is the final topper piece. And I've already got the other piece back here installed and we've got some other wiring things that we're working on here. This project has turned into be several projects, several. It's kind of opened the door for a lot of different things. And I guess that's how it goes. We continue to get the boat ready to go there's an awful lot of uh, fairly significant refits you know we're not wealthy people so we had to buy an older boat and we're little by little getting it ready to go some of these refits are pretty impressive if you haven't seen our galley renovation i'm going to put a link to that video right here don't forget to subscribe we'll see you later